us to make life easier for our commuters and our customers, Howtrain has developed an app. If you go onto the Howtrain app, you can get this on Google Store. You can get this on Apple as well. Um, you download it, it's free of charge. There is no cost to it. After downloading it, it's going to appear and show you welcome to Howtrain. And then you need to register a profile. So you create a profile for yourself. The benefits of having that profile is you are able to track your movements on your cart. But at the same time, if there is a need for you to apply for refunds or you want to claim for any other unused trips, you are able to go back and do that. Okay, planning a trip is quite easy on the app. You just go to, uh, it says A and B origin and destination. You select the station where you are. At this point, we are at Midrand and I wish to travel to Park Station. So I'm going to select Park Station. Okay, after selecting Park Station, it then takes me through exactly what time is the train going to approach, what kind of a train is it going to be, a four car or a cut train, and it also tells me the price that I'm going to pay for that trip going to Park Station. Over and above that, if I miss the train um, that shows me here in two minutes, I can go to the schedule and I'm able to see exactly when is the next one. If I miss that one, what time will be the ones after? So the, the timetable or the schedule appears for you. So you're able to know at any given point in time when would be the convenient time for you to take the train. Over and above that, um, you are able to check the status of the line as well. If there is any delays or whatnot, you are able to go on to notifications. You will be able to see if the train is delayed or the bus is delayed. So these are live notification. So you get it when, as and when they happen, which is quite a very good feature as well that um, people can utilize. But most importantly as well, you are able to load your card while you are at home. So you can just load um, the money and then it will show. But also you can load as many cards as you want. So if your wife is using the train, your cousins, your sons, daughters, you're able to load their cards. And from one bank card, you are able to top up all these different cards. So if you can see here, I have two cards already. So card number one, it shows me I have 19 rent on it. Card number two has 86 rent. So you can be able to load as many cards as you want. Um, and then you can name them according to profiles, mom, dad, son, daughter, which is quite a, a very good feature. But you also can block a card if you've lost the card right on the app to avoid somebody else being able to have access to that card or the funds that you have on the card, which is which is quite a good thing. You're able to go onto the map. We spoke about tracking your bus earlier on. It displays a map for you. Then you can select where you are and then it will show you exactly how far the next bus is and what time is it going to approach as well. Um, with that, you are able to also um, go on to a much larger view. And then if you click find my location, it will find where you are. But most importantly as well, track your bus. Find my nearest bus will exactly tell you where and how far your nearest bus is going to be and the station as well. We've also introduced the student product for the students that are studying full-time under the age of 25. If you are a student and you registered at a full-time um, institution of higher education, you register on the app and you get a whopping 25% discount for using the train. We had to be ready for 4IR. For Most of our training is done online and um, most of our reporting is also done online. We've got simulators that we've got where the learner paces their own learning using robots, basically. And uh, when it comes to um, internal training that we do also, we, we do it online. Literally everything is done online. There's very minimal face-to-face um, -face training that we do and recruiting of employees that we are going to um, take through our formal training. That one is also done online. Even the assessments they do, they do them online. So um, we, we had to be so ready. As you know, how train is this is the state of the art technology that we have in Africa. If, we, if you look at maintenance, um, we are using SCADA. We call it STMS on our side. It's, it's a system that uh, that is uh, connected to each and every machine, each and every equipment that you have. As soon as the machine stops, it gives you the information that the machine has stopped and it gives you uh, the details as to what the problems are. So that uh, the, 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 the contractor that will be responding will go to site already know what the problems are with the space that are required so that we can, we can be able to, to minimize the downtime of the machines. In terms of uh, uh, the maintenance, we're using a, a system called Maximo. Some of the improvements that we need to do is 
to make sure that we minimize the paperwork because before the guys go on site, they need to print, to do some printouts, go to site, fill the paperwork and come back and load onto the system. So we we intending as the time goes, we're gonna use internet and uh, the guys that are on site will be using a certain app um, on their devices and load the information immediately as soon as they are done so that we can be able to see that information while we are at the office uh, to, to close that gap. Within Shake Department, uh, Health and Safety that is, we industrial engineers that side within the Shake space, we also have a bit of a scarcity there. Engineering is always an issue. Within engineering, your, el your electrical, your um, mechatronics, your um, civil, not that not that uh, scarce, because the only challenge with them is the experience part. They may have the qualification, but because we are very specialized, we need people that have got exposure to rail. So that takes time, that's number one. The second one, train drivers. With train drivers, we can't just take someone from the street to come and be a train driver. They go through a series of assessments, and after that, and they go, I think their training is about plus minus six months training. And if they don't make it for that training, then we have to go back and recruit. So roughly it's engineering, shake and train drivers. With how train, there's people that are a bit older that are nearing retirement. So with building our talent pool, we get um, trainee positions within the company. Someone that will be exposed to the train driving the entire value chain, that is the internal part. Externally, all, employ all potential employees have to apply online and we also use, um, we contact um, different universities to offer bursaries for them. And once we've also offered a bursary, those um, learners, they do vocational work with us and we end up absorbing them thereafter. So that's another avenue. And then another one is open invitations via PNET.